this game. Regrettably, the weather has been extremely unkind to us here. It is wet and blustery and remarkably inhospitable. Despite all of that, it is good to see that the faithful from both sides have apparently been undeterred. We have a terrific turnout here. The atmosphere is bubbling despite these adverse conditions. All we need now is for the game to live up to its initial billing. And we have in front of us this gloriously imposing arena, absolutely picture-perfect for a game of this nature. Well, this is the perfect game for all parties, not least the neutrals who've just come to enjoy it. Well, on the face of it, Peter, we would appear to have a high-caliber meeting with very little at stake. But then you consider a, a chance for one or two of the fringe players to get a look in, and this becomes a big incentive, it changes the dynamic. So there's plenty at stake for them, which will do no harm to the energy levels and the overall conviction, and hopefully the style of contest. So it's down to business here. Gaspar. Triqueros. He'll hit it! That has certainly tested the keeper. Well, that was high-class goalkeeping there to back up his, his high-class wage. Modric. Valverde. Casemiro. Rafael Varane. Modric. Got a shot away! Oh, the keeper's done ever so well. Well, what can I say? Truly wonderful goalkeeping. Trigueros. Parejo. Another side yet able to force a breakthrough here. Shapes to shoot. No, he's missed it. It was more possible than probable, and the outcome backed it up, Peter. Valverde. Benzema. Shapes to shoot. Surely this time. Goal! Real Madrid! He was really quick to react to the initial save, and he has his reward. I doubt he'll score too many which come easier than that, Peter, but just look at his movement. He knew instinctively that the keeper would struggle to hold on to it. Real Madrid take the lead, 1-0. And that ought to be the trigger for a really exciting and entertaining game from here on. Gets away from his opponents. Now it's Alcacer. Casemiro drives it forward. Hardly anything between the sides. And the score is 1-0. It's come loose. Got a sight of goal. Hits one! Oh, that was no routine save. Oh, that's a sparkling save. Absolutely sparkling. His reflexes were ultra-sharp. Decent attempt, Peter.
Mario Gaspar positions himself well and cuts it out. Triqueros. Has a hit! Gaspar. Mario Gaspar has been caught there, it's a foul. Alcacer shoots! It's off target and by quite a way. Well, I think a little eagerness just got the better of him. He may have been thinking about back page headlines there. That is a poor kick by the keeper, being intercepted. The first half is done, so there you have it, a close fought half of football, but one that still had its moments, but ultimately produced just one goal. A more than decent game up to now. Well, they showed glimpses of some wonderful football to groom at the lead at half-time, and that's definitely pleased the fans. I think they'll be looking to keep this intensity up now in the second half. Real Madrid go in at half-time with a slender one-goal lead. So we're just settling back into this second half. A solitary goal, that has been the crucial difference. And he's certainly caught him there, it's a free kick. Modric having a look. And this is the perfect opportunity to create a cushion between the sides. That is a gem! An absolute gem! Two to the good! They have breathing space! Oh, that is a bit special. Real Madrid took a two-goal lead, and things should be comfortable from here on in. Well, at 1-0, this contest was still nicely poised, but now that it's gone to two, mindsets are affected a lot more. Winning belief one way, and that losing feeling the other. Played into the middle. And that's out of reach. Ibotta. What a good way to assert your authority for this second period. They were prepared to commit numbers forward into attacking positions, and the risk has been deservedly rewarded. And here's Alcacer. He's left his man, crossed in, and he's there to cut it out. Vinicius Junior. Now it's Modric. Out to the right. Some good work on the right flank. Now, what's next? He's tried one. Gaspar. the right now what's on plenty waiting in the middle all oh, the balls come loose turns and goes back he's it goes for goal Both 
sides then taking this chance to turn to their benches. Ivora with the short one. Get his head on that, but couldn't score. Well, plenty of moving targets to pick out in the box. Obviously increases your chances of the ball being met like that by someone. We have got changes here from both sides, in fact. Alcacer. He's gone for goal! Oh, he's managed to miss it. Well, they're definitely going about things the right way, Peter. A goal soon can, can boost their energy levels now. Goes for goal! That's a half-decent try. Well, that's confidence for you. Distance doesn't even bother him. But there's going to be another change here. And it's Alcacer. Azar. He's through now. It's, it's Azar! And it's there! And they are cruising away. Well, you know, thinking about that, I think they've perfected that on the training ground because it took them seconds to get the ball from back to front and they really commit forward in numbers too. That was all very well drilled. Real Madrid take a three-goal lead, and they are romping out of sight. Parejo. He came in hard, very hard. And that's it. Real Madrid enjoy their perfect day. For their victims, it is entirely imperfect comprehensive winners of a one-sided contest. How would you sum up what we've witnessed, Jim? It's an art to good defence too, and their organisation and discipline has helped